we hear here and in 26 states that are ready to not listen to the majority of women and people who want abortion rights and access to continue, our rights have been progressively taken. We are a glimpse into the future of women if we let our human right to abortion and sovereignty over our bodies be ceded to states' rights. Texas has passed the trigger law that will go into an effect 30 days if Roe versus Wade is overturned which would not just completely make abortion illegal, but would criminalize it as a second degree felony, and if the fetus dies, it increases to a first degree felony. That cannot stand. No. <clears throat> Additionally, it would, pro it would fine providers with $100,000 for aiding in the process. This bill weaponizes and promotes vigilante and snitch culture, breaking the solidarity between working people, just as the Texas Anti-Transgender Directive criminalizes parents and guardians who help their children reach self-actualization and those teachers who do not snitch on their students. Are we gonna let that happen here? No! Are we gonna let that happen here? No! That's why we must fight for to legalize abortion once and for all. That's why we must fight for our basic human rights. Lizelle Herrera was charged with murder for, for self-inducing an abortion. She was reported by her doctor, violating all HIPAA privacy rights and held in jail for a bond of $500,000. People from all across the state and nation started calling for her release and removing of the bogus charges. The people's organized action made the state justice system acknowledge they don't really have anything to charge her with. What law was to be used to justify this punishment? Unorganized people saved one. But how many do we not know about? How many suffer in silence out of fear? be it for their immigration status or prior mishaps with the law or are just poor and can't afford to miss a week's worth wages and can't afford the procedure. Mutual aid funds have been a blessing to many and we must help fund them. But keep in mind that we, that we here, we the people are funding the healthcare that we should be provided for by universal free healthcare. Yeah. Only legalized abortion as a constitutional right can save the majority, especially poor black and brown women from economic ruin, precarious practices, and even death. We saw the Women's Health Protection Act go up before the Democratic Senate majority two times. And both times it tanked, it failed. What does this tell us about our leaders? What does it tell you when they can pass $40 billion to continue war on top of the $870 billion for a yearly defense budget with little or no hesitancy, but they can't legalize abortion even though 80% of the country is demanding it? It's a mandate! You're not serious. What does it tell you when a Democratic majority House and Senate cannot pass the Build Back Better plan that would provide childcare and millions for much needed public housing. When universal health care is not even a thought during a pandemic that has killed over a million people, that would, which could have been prevented. Do they represent us? No. We must get organized and fight back. Yeah. I used to be part of the imperialist army and I got stationed here in San Antonio in 2006. I didn't know much about Texas other than the Alamo. <laughs> and that they love their guns, oils, and trucks. Yep. The military is, like, is a lot like college for many, for, for wealthy. It's a bunch of kids with disposable income and lots of free time. So we partied a lot, a lot. There was a lot of hooking up and a lot of sexual assaults. A lot of my friends had pregnancy scares. I had pregnancy scares. A lot of my friends got pregnant. A lot of my friends got abortion for many reasons. Women who come to Military City USA or the largest military base
in the U.S., which is 400, will not have the right to an abortion in Texas if Roe is overturned, and many will not have a clue. The military barely treats women with any dignity to begin with, but they do not perform abortion as health care. These women have to leave the state as well. Their lives rely on the approval of their leave by their commander. Just because you sign your life away does not mean you should not have autonomy over your own body. Exactly. Military women should be out here standing shoulder to shoulder with us yep. too because they have a lot to lose. Yep. And honestly, why fight for a country or on behalf of a country that won't fight for you? Exactly. Finally, Brothers and sisters, I'll leave you with an excerpt from a great speech from our comrade Karina. <clears throat> I can't fuck it up. <laughs> All right. Nobody gave us these rights to begin with. We took them. Yes. Our people have fought for and won every single benefit that we have in this country. Every single thing that we count on. But all of our rights are at risk because we are not organized. But we're getting organized, aren't we? Yeah. Hell yeah, we are getting organized. We want you to join us. We are not ashamed. We are socialists. Yes. We are yeah. feminist socialists. Yeah. We want it all. We want it all. We are not stopping at abortion rights and we can have it all. Yeah. And we deserve it all yeah. because we live in the richest country in the world yeah. and every single thing that exists in society, we created yeah. working people. Yeah. We saw what happened in this pandemic. The working class is the essential class. Yeah. Yeah. Delivery workers, truck drivers, healthcare workers, education workers, grocery store workers, every single person in society that contributes. Every single person should have universal human rights. Every single thing we deserve. But we gotta get organized. And we, and we want you to join us. Join us in this struggle. We are the party for socialism and liberation, and we are proud to stand here in the streets and fight for all of our rights. So join us. This is going to be a long battle, but we are gonna win. And God damn it, we're gonna win. Thank you. All right, so lastly, we'll have